now seems like the perfect time to talk about corn on the cob. Mmm, all slathered in butter, perfectly salted, conveniently filling in any gaps in your teeth with a nice golden glow. In fact, the only bad thing about this delicious golden vegetable is that there's always more cob than corn. Well, now there's one electrifying industry that's getting even more excited about corn stalk leftovers than the dental floss makers are. Here's Adam Yamaguchi to explain. Corn is a hardy, versatile crop used for many things such as biofuels like ethanol, animal feed, cooking oils, and of course, for human consumption. But when corn is harvested, a lot of waste called corn stover is left behind. And with it, a lot of stored energy that could be extracted and utilized in other important ways. I traveled to Mexico, Missouri to see how one company is turning corn biomass into this, biocoal a viable coal substitute that can burn in power plants. And unlike nature's coal, you don't have to mine the earth or wait millions of years to get it. Leading the development of turning corn waste into cleaner burning fuel for coal-fired power plants is Ingenuity, headed up by husband and wife inventors, Bob and Nancy Hyman. So what is it about corn that gets you so excited? It's the volume of corn that's available, the volume of corn stover after harvest that can be readily converted into bio coal. Biocoal is our answer to nature's 100 million year process to produce coal. We use a, a technique we've developed called frictional carbonization, where we produce a biocoal in four minutes, 20 seconds, that has similar BTUs and burning characteristics of nature's coal. The secret to all of this is patented rotary compression technology, using a fast rotating screw to quickly and harshly compress the corn stover, generating lots of heat which releases steam and gases, similar to a coffee roaster. So the corn stove you see being fed in is at room temperature. As it passes through the reflux condenser, it goes over 750 degrees F in a half a second. During the heating process, the separated energy-filled gases are cooled, condensed into oil, and returned back into the charred corn stover to create a new product, biocoal. This is essentially a stored fuel. Right. Very high BTU. It's a very familiar smell. Yes. A liquid smoke smell. <laughs> Bob and Nancy's bio coal is designed to supplement and reduce the need for regular coal burned in power plants. Looks a little bit like a pile of coal, doesn't it? It does. This little pellet here represents really four minutes in your, <laughs> in your machine here. Right. Something right. that mimics what Mother Nature took how long? A hundred million years is the best guess <laughs> of, the, of the scientists. Even though BioCoal's BTU output exceeds that of natural coal and leaves no carbon footprint, its acceptance as a fuel resource has been slow. Our stuff has no selenium, no mercury, no cadmium, no heavy metals. So the very things that they fight, we take that problem off their backs. We really wanted to be a bridge. Just a small co-fire on all the power plants in the U.S., it could be 15 or 16 percent reduction in greenhouse gas across the country. And that is no corny statistic. 